We have a special video for you. We are literally gonna cover everything you need to launch your SMA, to find clients, to outreach to them, to actually do sales and even deliver so that you could build a real business, build a successful SMA business. Everything I share with you are gonna be the exact principles that have helped me and my business partner do over $25 million in sales. And I promise you, you will get some value. So get your notepad out, get your pen, and let's jump into it. Nick, all our viewers want to know, how can you start a SMMA in 2024? So when you're thinking about starting an SMA in 2024, you have to think about what does the marketplace want? What does the marketplace need? Now there's advanced ways to figure this out where you could actually see what people search and type in, see how much, you know, like if 100,000 people are searching how to do social media on TikTok, well, maybe you should make an SMA that gives people you know, tools or resources or a service where you help them with, you know, posting content on TikTok. You see what I'm saying? So really you want to figure out what do people want to buy? And that's the most important part to any successful business. Like if someone's going to jump into business and they're going to sell a product or service that nobody wants, they can be the best entrepreneur in the world, but they are selling the wrong item. And I've had this happen to friends where they are in a business they have tons of experience. They're really knowledgeable, but they're selling something that nobody wants. So you have to first figure that out. What do people want to buy? And, and really, uh, just to give you some hints is this. People know that short form content is really important. So that could be a really good service. People also know that long form content and long videos like YouTube are really good for building a connection. They could also be turned into podcasts. People also know that, hey, if we can go ahead and figure out how to make ads profitable and acquire customers for break even, that's also extremely powerful because you could help somebody grow their business really fast. And those are really some key areas. Now, those are different levels of difficulty to deliver on because when you start getting into performance-based agreements where you're gonna be running ads, well, you have to deliver those results. But with that being said, you could structure deals where you literally can make 10, 20, 40, 50 grand from a single deal. The other thing that people really, uh, I, I see that's really popular is building a brand. So whether that's speaking on stages, maybe it's podcast stores, or maybe it's even PR articles, like getting people posted on Forbes and entrepreneur. And don't worry about how to do this stuff right now. What I'm sharing with you are these are things that business owners want to spend money on. And these guys that make a few hundred thousand dollars or even millions, they're happy to do it if you can help them do it because they know that it's going to actually go ahead and get them, you know, out there. It's going to get their business out there and it's ultimately going to lead to more revenue uh, for them and more profit for their company. Awesome. Awesome. So let's just say, you know, people have the product, people know what is hot and high demand. But how much money do you need to start an SMMA? So when you're looking to start any business, there's going to be um, two routes you can go. You can go the route where you use all of your time or you can use your cash flow, your cash to buy time. With that being said, if you go the time route, you could go out there and test all of those things to get this business launched, right? You could test what do you say on calls? You could test what to offer as a product or as a package. You could test and, you know, learn these skill sets on your own. You could test figuring out hiring. You could test different agreements and different contracts. When you do a business deal with someone, it's typical to have an agreement that they sign. So you could test all the different ways. So thing is this, some people test for a decade, 10, 20, 30 years, and they never figure out what works. So that's one route people can go down. The other route is you use cash to buy time. So when people go the, the route of like, you know, hey, I wanna go ahead and get up and running. Well, rather than you doing that, what if you just work with someone that already did, you know, $20 million in sales and you just asked them and got them to give you, you know, the things to say on sales calls, what to sell, where to find clients, what agreements to use. They helped you even with the delivery. Well, you know, you can fast track your results a lot. So realistically, I would say this, it's possible to get started with a few hundred bucks. 
it's possible to get started with a few thousand dollars. It's also possible to really fast track your results and basically hire out, you know, somebody to go and build you a sales team, build all of your branding, your website, go and actually set you up completely from A to Z. And you know, you can spend 20, 30 grand. We can see all those different routes. What's the best route for you? You have to just have an honest look at yourself in the mirror and figure out what your situation is. But I highly recommend tapping into education and educational resources so that you could buy time and not make those mistakes that are going to potentially not just cost you time, but even cost you thousands of dollars and missed opportunity, missed revenue, or even mistakes down the road. Awesome, Nick. You know, I know you did mention um, that building a team is amazing and how it could get you from point A to point Z faster, but how can someone use Instagram for their SMMA? So if you were going to go ahead and look at, you know, just the, the landscape of where people can post and, and get attention, you have Instagram, you have TikTok, you have YouTube, you have Twitter, you have all these platforms, right? So let's just talk about Instagram. For Instagram, if you set your profile up in a way where you're passionate about marketing, you're posting about marketing, you're branded as a marketing professional, people will go ahead and see that you're passionate. Like for me personally, like if I saw a guy that said, hey, I'm obsessed about marketing and on his stories, he was posting about marketing books. He was sharing tips for businesses. If he reached out to enough business owners, there's going to be a business owner that says, man, this guy's really passionate. Let me give him a shot. So that's really the biggest way to use your, your Instagram is to make it a portfolio of who you are and what you know, so that when you reach out to people, they see that, you know, this guy's really serious about this whole social media marketing deal. Amazing, amazing. So with you bringing, well, me bringing up Instagram, I know Instagram could be a portfolio to start getting clients, start reaching out, but is that the best way to start getting clients for SMMA? Or what's the tip that you could give the viewer to get more clients in SMMA? I would say that Instagram can be a really good tool for you to get clients at the end of the day. But the main thing that you wanna really get down is who are you helping and what are you offering them, right? So the better you can get that, it doesn't matter if you're reaching out to them on Instagram or LinkedIn or through email or calling them. If you know that and you can deliver on that, then you're gonna have success. Like I said, on our end, we like to use a lot of different platforms to actually acquire customers because it creates a more durable business. So. Um, for people that are brand, brand new, I recommend actually going about there and testing, you know, the different outreach methods, but before you go out there and test them, you want to optimize your profile. And that's going to be the biggest thing, no matter what you're outreaching on. So if you're reaching from Instagram, make sure that you're set up and you look like a professional post some books about marketing give some thoughts about marketing that alone is going to help you with your conversion rates and response rates that you get from people that uh, you reach out to. Awesome, Nick. Awesome. So with all these questions our viewers had, you know, in conclusion, where do you see SMMA going in the future? So in the future, SMA is going to be something that's going to be around. The way that it evolves will will change as well, though, because a lot of the things we're doing now are with AI and automation. So in the future, the biggest shift is going to be with AI and technology. Down the road, you're going to have an individual that can replace 5, 10, 15 people. And that's actually going to be a good thing if you know how to use that technology with marketing, because you're going to be in a spot where you're more efficient. The business is making more profit, which ultimately means you're going to get paid more on your end down the road.